This is a more personal, uh, a very personal prophetic confession. I never thought I would see the day that I would have to openly rebuke my daughter. Um, it's approaching for now. And, and really a lot of the world too. But, you know, the enemy, he's going to use the things closest to you to try to destroy you. Let me say that again. He uses the things that are closest to you to destroy you or try to destroy you or at least to distract you or cause some strife or division or something. <clears throat> In addition to that, Hebrew Israelite men folk a fool despises correction. <clears throat> I repeat. A fool despises correction. A forward man who speak of strife and all this stuff. The Lord told me because I was going to pull up with my rod of correction and the word graciously, uh, but they need to be corrected because pride comes before destruction. I repeat, pride comes before destruction. He loves the meek and the lowly. And are you doing his will? I repeat, the hope of the Lord is my joy. That's why I smile. If someone brings you the word, his sheep knows his voice. Anything that is in opposition, anything that is in opposition to the word is not from my creator. <clears throat> it would take a bunch of lost sheep with you. On your wicked, forward, self-righteous ways. If you take a bunch of lost sheep with you, I repeat. It's folly for those lost sheep. And also, if you devise it to do wicked and evil as your misleading sheep, so shall you reap. His word, my Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Lead me not into temptation. Deliver me from the evil one. Forgive me for my trespasses as I forgive those who have trespassed against me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the devil, I will fear no evil because thy rod and thy step they comfort me all the days of my life. And they're out of order, but they're coming to me by my spirit, by his spirit. That, it, that came to me strongly yesterday is stronger and stronger every day. And I am so thankful because he has given me this authority to rule in the realm that he has given me power. And can't nobody tell me no different. And can't no devil in hell I repeat, no devil in hell shall tell me otherwise, nor will they enter the kingdom. Because he will say, he said, in their dead calamity, I will mock and laugh at them. He will say, oh, they will say, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. And he will say, I never knew you. He's not talking to me. He's talking for whoever need to hear it. And I say this with love and kindness in my heart, but fire in my soul. Because prophets see a train wreck before it is happening. And there's some fast running trains on the loose that have left the station. How, <clears throat> how do you bring people to Christ if you're 
um, on a podium on a street corner yelling at people as they walk by. That ain't nice. Jesus didn't do that, people. Okay? So are you subjected uh, under the mind of Christ? No, he didn't do that. He was gathering his lost sheep. If a sheep was lost, you can't be just beating up sheep with your words and stuff. That ain't nice. My father is not pleased with that. It doesn't it doesn't win souls for the king for the kingdom. You can't you he said the stuff the cities and everything that you think you building down here and stuff. The, no. No, no, please. You don't need to scream his his he he said in there is a new covenant, knuckleheads. He said, because in the new day, when the Son of Man comes, he said, God, his law is going to be in your heart. Knuckleheads. So you don't even know what you're talking about. That is what's so upsetting. And especially as a as a as a black woman, Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Jake, I'm those things. But I don't, I don't have to put no name on everything. Because I have yet to even know what God has ha- has for me. He said the ones who claim in that argument by force, he said, no, that don't belong to you. Because your heart, whatsoever man speaks in his heart. Now let me put let me put it on a different note. How do you think these these people do, don't like your methods? Because they're rebellious. And what happens is when you yell at someone, what do you do? You go, someone is going to go home with some bad feelings about you, a whole lot of somebody's. Now you think about that. You out there on the street corner, wide open. I don't see no guns, you know what I'm saying? And you screaming at them, uh, <clears throat> them papers, them publicans and stuff. Them Trump supporters are still out there on his team. Huh? Them, them cowards, the ones that come up and pop up, so you really setting yourself up for failure. That's folly. That's foolish. There, there, there's there are ways to do things and to deliver messages, and do and so and for you to tell and for especially for some of y'all, for y'all to be talk, talking talking to a, a woman a, a prophecy. It's, it's not just that, but something else. It's an anointing. He didn't. He gave it to me. I didn't give it to myself. So I'm not speaking for my own self righteous. There's nothing. No, there's no self righteous in me. But what there is in me is wisdom and correction. Where where correction needs to take place. Now, now, I correct it, things as I go. I correct. He corrected me. I correct myself constantly. So you know, I, I'm not here to play with no snake. You can't be nice with a snake and a snurping. No, he said chop the head off. So the question is, is that, you know, you, you, you ain't got to listen to me. This is your, that's your choice. You're wrestling with your own self. You need to just sit back and stop conglomerating in all them demonic spirits. Cause there's a lot of them things running packs. Like, and, and for some of you guys, you know, you gotta know, let God touch your heart. Cause if something ain't feeling right, it ain't right. The right spirit. What's the spirit behind that whole thing? And I understand. See, this is the thing that you don't understand. I know where it comes from. It comes from a place of not knowing your identity and your your heritage and slavery. I understand because I, I had that face. So I had those feelings too. So it comes from like, you know, subjection, subjugation, excuse me, rejection and, you know, oppression. It comes from all of those things. And so that's, and that's so that part I get, you know, <clears throat> because again, but you gotta know what what to draw the line in the sand. You gotta know where, where you know, and uh tell me I gotta wear some friends. Ain't nobody tell God didn't tell me I gotta wear no friends. Just that's not what he told me. <clears throat> so, you know, and spikes and stuff. No. Where we going? It's twenty twenty one. And no, I don't I don't have no idols and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I don't I don't he, he made me perfect in his image. He made us all perfect in his image. So that don't mean everybody look alike. That doesn't even make sense. Make it make sense. Now I'm done for right now. But I'll be back. Cause I got a lot to say. 
And I love you guys and shalom and all that good stuff. I love you. I love people. That's why I talk a lot. And I ain't backing down from the truth. Not when he put it in my heart to do so. Especially when I see a bunch of folk about to fall off a darn cliff and they don't even see it coming. Huh? Mm. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, God, be all the glory, all the power, all the honor, all the praise, all the love, all the worship, forever and ever. Amen. And all. One almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The, the parable with the hidden manna, the white stone after Habakkuk. Habakkuk, or however, they, I didn't even know, and I don't even understand why they call this prophet's mind. Then after that, after Habakkuk came Ezekiel, and Jeremiah, it's just a lot mixed in with it, you know, <clears throat> even throughout the course of the day. And Joseph's tears, I didn't even realize Joseph's tears. Um, <laughs> my experience with that the day before I heard the sermon by T.D. Jakes. <clears throat> was I was actually, <clears throat> I had been lamenting um, over a lot of things, and um, I had was actually crying, and I was praying, talking to the guy at the time, and I was like, I started kind of like, uh, I got happy as I was crying, because I was like, Lord, I get to wash your feet with my tears, <laughs> and I was thinking, I was like, I'm going to be a little bucket, you know what I'm saying, and that, that made me so happy, <laughs> And then I heard the sermon by T.D. Jakes, and I and then I understood my dreams, and I understood the things. Things made sense. My birthday is April the fifth, and um, things are making sense with a quickening, and it's absolutely amazing. And it's very devastating at the same time. Um, but I thank him through everything, and um. That's that's his gift to me is to be to you guys. So I say these things uh, with fire in my in my soul um, and love in my heart. Okay, and truth, truth on my lips, and mercy, and grace, and love and kindness, long suffering. All the fruits of the spirit. You got it. But I will not stand back in silence. Because nobody is correcting <clears throat> what needs to be corrected. And so, um, that's, uh, God's, God is in control. But what I know is not for me. <clears throat> it's for you. So, God bless you. Bye-bye.